Hello, this is Albert Fung from the TVA Search team. As some of you may know, we've been doing experiments in virtual reality, or VR, and we'd like to show you some of the results in this following video. So on the top left is myself uh, with the HTC Vive uh, headset, and on the main screen is what I see in VR. So we start with a liver model that we made from patient-specific CTs. We look around it, um, but we can also reach out and just touch it with our hands, rotate it, move it around to get a better view. And then we can use our mini control console to turn off certain pieces of anatomy. So if we turn off the liver and the gallbladder here, You can see that there's actually a very big tumor um, nested right inside the liver vessels. You can see right here. And if we wanted to examine it further, we can turn off some of the vasculature. Let's just leave the portal veins for now. And we can magnify it just a little bit. There we go. And we'll take a look at the left portal vein that's very close to the tumor and the right portal vein, which there is actually a little bit of distance from the tumor. And take a look at the hepatic arteries. Let's just rotate it a little bit to this side. And we can see here is the aorta. Oop. Here's the aorta that gives off the celiac artery, coming the hepatic artery, coming the left hepatic artery and the right hepatic artery here. Now if we turn the tumor to transparent, like so, we, we can actually see there's two little branches here, here and here, that are enveloped by the tumor. We look at the bile ducts right here. Let's look at it at a inferior angle. You see the left hepatic duct here, and then we can take a look at the uh, right duct right here. Notice how close it runs to the uh, tumor. And now let's look at the hepatic veins. We just shrink it down a little bit here. We just notice the uh, middle hepatic vein is right in front of the tumor. And if we look at the back side, Notice the right hepatic vein right here, but also a portion of the vena cava that's enveloped by the tumor. If we pull up some CT scans of this case, so let's go to the vena series and just scroll all the way up right here. We can magnify it a bit. Now see that dark mass right in the middle there of the liver. That dark mass uh, represents the uh, tumor we've been talking about. And in the middle, there's a bright white dot. That is the vena cava that's uh, completely surrounded by tumor. Now, being a video atlas, of course, we have uh, footage of the surgery of this case that we can uh, check out. Here's a short clip. Um, and this is showing the tumor in uh, in surgery and just to reiterate things again here's the tumor and it is again surrounding the vena cava so being a video atlas we have about 40 cases that we can uh, explore using this module you can just pick a transplant case for now so this patient uh, suffered from uh, renal failure. The uh, two little kidneys up top here were not functioning, which led to their first kidney transplant here, which unfortunately wasn't working neither. You notice along the aorta, there's a lot of plaque-like substance. This is due to uh, atherosclerosis. But notice on the iliac artery here, there's a smooth patch that's free of plaque. What the patient needed was a transplant, and in this case, it was a 
kidney transplant along with a pancreas transplant. The surgeons join the renal artery and the pancreas arteries together in a graft, and the idea was to connect this shared inflow to that smooth patch there, which I'll try to demonstrate uh, what the end result looks like. There. So, for more VR updates and uh, to check out our video Alice, do visit us at tvasearch.ca. And thanks again for tuning in.